Hey YouTube, Jamal Brown here with a quick look first impressions video for the Sony Z5. If you have any questions regarding if this is the right daily driver for you, just leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Well, let's get to it. A few details about this device before we hop in is that this is the Z5 Dual. It is international and it is currently running Android 5.1.1. Key features include a 5.2 inch 1080p display, 23 megapixel camera with 4K video. Uh, I included a bit of a sample later in this video. 3 gigabytes of RAM on a Snapdragon 810 processor and a 2900 milliamp battery that does last. With a fingerprint scanner, waterproof design, and the ability to take your PlayStation games off the big screen and onto your smartphone, I believe this phone is one that will rock. Now, first we're gonna take a quick look at all the nitty gritty stuff of manuals, warranty, startup guide, uh, something called Xperia Lounge, the charger. Now this charger looks a bit like a Triceratops, but don't get me wrong, this is the international phone. So this will work in Europe. You just have to extend the middle part like this. Now, I'm gonna have to get myself one that will work in North America so I can use Quick Charge 2.0 and really see that battery shine. Included also are just standard headphones from Sony and also the micro USB cord. But really, what we want to get to is the phone itself. Usually when I purchase phones, I go for the black variant as opposed to the white one. But this time, I went with green. And I do not consider that a regret whatsoever. The green on this phone is beautiful. Not too bright, but not too dull. It's like Sony knew what kind of green they should have. Ever since I took off the screen protector, I have just been amazed. Back is made out of glass, but it's not the glass we saw in the Z3. It is now frosted back, which makes for a way more beautiful phone. In the hands, it's lightweight, very compact, easy to hold. What more could I ask for? Oh, right. How about a volume rocker that doesn't require my big to use? Am I right? Come on, Sony. You had the one side with just the card holders and the Xperia branding. Maybe you could have put the volume rocker there or just moved it up a centimeter or two. Would have made a lot of people happy. Even still, the final product is very beautiful and I, I just get happy looking at it. It's, it's a very beautiful phone. Now, let's hop into the camera. The camera app itself opens very quickly and the focus is snap. like. Sonic kind of fast. Check this out. Focus. While the camera application itself is a little cluttered, I'm not sure what Sony did making 8 megapixels the default, while its maximum 23 is not. I think in manual mode, it's actually set to 8 megapixels in order to take better photos. It's, it's very confusing. I have included some sample photos and 4K video footage so that you guys can see the differences between photos and look at it and you decide yourselves. Is it a good phone? Is it a bad phone? Personally, I have my DSLR and that's my main camera. My smartphone is just for Instagram and Snapchat, really. So I am more than happy with it. But some people are very delicate about their smartphone. So here is that 4K footage so you guys can get a taste. It's a very windy day today. Moving on, I'm noticing not many people are doing any live examples for the PlayStation Remote Play, so I thought I'd do one myself, featuring my 20th anniversary PlayStation and PlayStation's own controller mount. This mount features a suctioning cup that really holds your phone and allows you to adjust the viewing angles. Yeah, sorry, I needed a shot of that just to show you guys how legit this controller is for the 20th anniversary. Anyways, controls are very quick 
responsive. Uh, there is the slightest little bit of lag, but that only shows when many people are either on the internet or there's a bunch of wireless signals disrupting the Bluetooth. So I wouldn't recommend playing anything like Black Ops 3 online with this. Now, you can still just go to the menu and do all your normal stuff just straight from your smartphone. It's exactly like just taking your TV and throwing it on top of a controller. As I said, the controller has adjustable mounts, so you can change the viewing angle depending on your own preferences. I don't know who would game 9 degrees like this, but you know, to each their own. I can say this is one of the many features of the Xperia devices that I use a lot. So I purchased this case off of Amazon. It's called Orzly, um, O-R-Z-L-Y. Just something to hold me by until I get something a little better. Because when I have a device that is this expensive, I want to take care of it. Make sure you get one, though, that will accommodate for the fingerprint sensor so you can still use it pretty well. And hey, speaking of fingerprint, I did a little bit of a test. And I can say it's very snappy to the point where if I just press the button, it unlocks itself. But for accuracy, when I tried to use my middle finger on my left hand, it was uh, a little wonky. I'd say maybe 8 out of 10. Maybe it was just the way I set it up, because with all the other fingers, it worked well. Uh, I just had to go back and do a couple tests just to see if it was me or if it is indeed the device. But it still works very well. It's all in all, hopefully a few software updates will fix things like the camera and maybe improve the sensor quality. Anyways. And there you have it, a quick look at the Sony Z5. I'm liking this phone. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. If you got any questions, want me to do any more footage of anything, uh, just feel free to ask me. Uh, Press a like, subscribe, just let me know. It'd be pretty cool if uh, somebody decided to get this phone now because of watching this video. I think that'd be pretty dope. Alright, thanks for watching.